Are we recording? Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. And welcome. You are watching Sweet and Vicious on TSNlive.tv, Monday nights, 10 p.m. And we have a very exciting show. Hello, sister. Hello. What's going on? Not much. Just how are you doing today? To stay cool. I'm on edge a little bit. Today. Elaine's losing her mind. I am. Are we going to uh, let everybody know? I'm second day of quitting smoking cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we got the whole studio. Yeah, I'm a little on edge, but I'm hanging in there. I'm doing good. Uh, and so. we are very excited to announce <laughs> yes. we have two special guests live in studio. I with was us. obsessed with him two weeks ago. He was obs- she was obsessed yes. with him two weeks and ago. And he's here in the flesh. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Borbe. The announcement. Borbe is here with us in studio. Yay. And we also have Jeremy Penn with us as well. How are you guys doing Congratulations. tonight? Congratulations. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us, ladies. Of How course, doing, of sister? course. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't put your arm around me and say how you doing, sister. It's <laughs> cute. I love it. And a couple of drinks, he'll be asking for it. Probably. <laughs> Probably. That's how we work. Uh, This show is brought to you by The Earth Diet. The Earth Diet is a lifestyle that focuses on the abundance of what the earth provides naturally. You can purchase The Earth Diet food at Organic Corner located in Massapequa or subscribe to The Earth Diet and get amazing recipes that you can make from home. Check out theearthdiet.org or tweet The Earth Diet at The Earth Dieter. Uh, Leanna Werner-Gray is amazing. We love her and so will you. So let's get right into the weekend update, shall we? What did you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? You, I don't know. You worked at the Jets? Yes. I have a new client, and we were uh, doing some promotions at Jets Stadium. Even yes. Though, are, you, yes. Are, are you a Jets fan? Huge Jets fan. Big, huge Jets fan. Big nice. Time. Look at that. So Sanchez is your boy. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say Sanchez so much. I think it's the entire organization. Okay. Um, you know, I think that there's a lot going for it. And I what can't is that? Believe you're getting so political about the Jets right now. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, someone in this room may or may not have uh, come close to a breakdown because of the Jets. I went through jet rehab. Did, did you? I did. Last season. No, it was around three seasons ago. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big Herm Edwards guy. Okay. And you play to win the game. Word. You left. I left too. Okay. So now, what, who's your team? Uh, no team. No team. Yeah, it's more healthy. Uh, it's it's, it's better lifestyle, m- lifestyle and mentality, <laughs> right? Jets have a way of ripping your heart out of your chest, and I like to keep my heart Aww. at least for a few more years. What about baseball? Nope. No baseball. Don't have time for it. B? Mets fan. I mean, uh, long-suffering. Okay. I, you know, you believe point, every freaking year. Every year you believe. Well, I don't believe anymore. I mean, these <laughs> guys are a disaster. Aww. You know, even the guys that I believe that are, are just totally, you know, insert the word, ing the bed. Right. <laughs> word um okay well i'm actually a giants fan uh but oh, i was yeah sorry. front runner win what? the super oh. bowl now we like him whoa oh. Borbe called you Bor- out Borbe, Bor- you starting this already early in the show get we're already starting a beef, huh? <laughs> she doesn't like to be called a front runner you're gonna get your butt kicked for that one <laughs> get That's ready okay. it's firmly planted yeah. in the couch no but uh, <laughs> Uh, no, but genuinely, I was uh, I was there uh, promoting Fan Vision, and um, I was actually in the coaches club. I don't know if you guys have ever been in there, and you literally are on the field. Like there's a whole I know glass you sent me pictures. wall, it was wild, and it's insane because you're literally. I was I was ten feet away from Revis or whatever his name is. Darrell Revis. Yeah, Revis. big contract. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> how many of them hit on you is the question. No, you know what? I was working, and that was my that priority. That no, was my that, that makes you more of a target. They, that is true, actually, because they then were you, focused, you know. They were focused on uh, 
I'm playing. I was there when they were playing. But I was there in the, the, the coach's lounge where there's a lot of the family members. And so nobody hit on you? Nobody hit on me. That's I actually know a good question. I refuse to believe that. Nobody so wait a second. Yeah, question. So was this I the swear. preseason game, obviously? Preseason against the Bengals, yeah. So did you see the, uh, the uh, national anthem being sung just out of curiosity? Uh, I did on my fan vision device. Okay. <laughs> no, I was just curious. I, I, went to, I went to a preseason game last year and uh, – I'm, I'm with my now wife, and I, I was Congratulations. Like, Thank you very much. <laughs> married. She's awesome. Uh, but I was there, and I'm like, I'm like feeling like, oh, this is cool. You know, I had a collector, gave me tickets. And then, like, my friend was singing the national anthem, and he does it, like, all the preseason games. So I was like, oh, that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. Wow. It sounds better when you watch on your fan vision, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, always, you know. You can, watch, you can watch all your uh, six camera, different, different yeah, camera absolutely. angles. Uh, yeah, so I was there, and it was just really exciting. It was awesome. I felt very VIP. Well, you sent me a million one pictures. You I were was, so excited. Well, because your boyfriend I is, feel like by is the a Jets end, fan. I feel like by the end of the season, you are going to be a Jets fan. I think it's going to happen. Insert rolling my eyes no, here. No, I think you I think you are going to be well, a Jets no, fan. Because I do have to be at every Jets home game. Yeah, that's that's the whole kicker is that she's a Giants fan, but she gets the gig for the Jets. She needs 10 you know why? Rex. No, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, Rex is a gift to the media, though. Let's just put it out there. We love Rex. He is really great. Everybody says that. I don't understand what that means. Because what does that mean that he's a gift to the media? I don't get it. Because he like plays. I don't with follow anything about sports. I don't care. I don't, I'm not baseball, nothing. So Let me put it in terms really you know. can understand. Okay. <laughs> so he's like, like blatant. think about like someone who in like a three week period is lighting up like a, an Us Weekly or an In Touch or, or, or any of those things. <laughs> okay, that like Kim Kardashian. Yeah. In the supermarket. <laughs> Yeah, this, exactly. is you yeah. this, right <laughs> this is where it's all about. You see this right here? This is where it's all about. Okay, I gotcha, That's I gotcha. That's all you need to know. Worship the feet. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. I got that. Uh, no, I think I think the way, just to go off B, is that he is a gift to the media because remember it was like a few seasons ago when he was playing against his brothers, the coach of the Browns, right? Yep. And he's actually, big. Rex is a big guy. Mm-hmm. And he actually put like a Very. pillow and a wig on and was pretending to be like his brother. So he meaning he's a gift to the media is that like he gives – the sport guy is something to write about. He's fun to watch. You know, he he hypes up the crowd every every season. It's like the taking it to the. Does Super he actually Bowl. like do anything like good, worthwhile coaching or anything like I that? Mean, Two AFC championship games in a row. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. However, oh, I will sorry. Say, Excuse me. <laughs> Jeez. Just, look, it is ironic though because he's super like Mister, you know, media. But then when he had the whole foot fetish thing came out, he was kind of mum on that. But I can understand that. Okay. You know, you're like the Rex Ryan of the art world. <laughs> the whole media thing. I don't know Aww. how to quantify that. Either. All right. Well, you know what? I you think do have beautiful feet, though. I will vouch for. Does he? Does beautiful he have beautiful feet? feet? <laughs> I do. I, I I believe you. And in t- and in two years, I'll probably weigh as much as Rex Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. There. Uh, so yeah, so that was my weekend update. I was there. What did you do? Not absolutely um, nothing. I, you quit smoking cigarettes, Mazel. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't do really much of anything. <laughs> I just <laughs> kicked back and relaxed after meeting uh, Lady Gaga on Thursday night. Big shot, big yes, shot. Rolling yes, with that the was big exciting. boys. Don't make fun of me. No, I won a Twitter. Meat dress. Co- I <laughs> yes, me dress. I won. A, I won a Twitter contest. That's how I got it this whole Lady Gaga thing. That's cool. Though. Basically, I mean, yeah, Very. the power of Twitter. It's crazy. I know that you love Twitter. Yeah, I'm a big yeah. Twitter guy. I love Twitter. At Borbay, B O R B A Y. Yes, <laughs> word. Um, so basically, I was um, I was on Twitter and I saw a recent tweet from like MTV or whatever, and it was like, "Enter for a chance to be a part of Lady Gaga's fan special." So um, I'm like, you know what? Why not? Like, I have nothing else to do right now. Like, let me just send in my email. <laughs> and then it was I had to send my name, my age, why I love Lady Gaga. I made up like I mean, like I'm a huge Lady Gaga fan, but I'm not like, you know, bowed down to her, kiss her feet. Like I'm not, you know. Oh, yeah, about I think that's how you hurt your finger. No, actually, Aww. car door. Ooh. Boo. Anyway, yeah, continue, yeah. No, it's okay. Is anyone at fault in that? Uh, me. Unfortunately not. Oh. <laughs> me, just me. Yeah. No loss. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, so basically, uh, so then I got, I completely forgot that I entered for the chance to, to meet Lady Gaga, be a part of the fan special. Completely forgot. Woke up Tuesday morning and I got an email saying that I'm confirmed. I have to dress up like her and be there Thursday at six o'clock. And I went and there was like 55 of, I mean, dressed head to toe. I wore her. Do you guys remember when she went to Yankee Yankee Stadium and she wore just like fishnets, underwear, a bra and Yankee jersey? Do you I mean, that? I don't specifically remember, but I would say that that outfit is pretty it's, much it's, staple. For right. Anyone. It's, it's late. <laughs> 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 Basically. So. um, So, yeah, she wore that. And like that was pretty. I mean, that's not as controversial as like, you know, the meat dress, but. She wore that, so I was like... They preserved that, by the way. 
did they? No, they didn't. Where? Yeah. Did they? They literally found the guy who cures meats and preserved the dress. So it's cured meat dress, and it's it's, it's still a jerky dress. Yeah, then. it's now jerky, <laughs> but it's preserved. Oh. That's that dress joke, was so. She's so. I can't even. Um, but so yeah, I mean, it was fun. Um, there was maybe like fifty of us there. It was a really great experience. Um, you know, she's really she's tiny. She's cute. Do you guys like Lady Gaga? I do. Do you? I, you know. What? Do you guys think she's sexy? It's tough. I mean, I th- I find her talent to be actually uh, very. Yeah, she is talented. I, mean, she I think she's just ambitious, and you know, fair balls to her for making it. Because I think if Madonna was around in the digital media age, she would have failed. And I think it's because Lady Gaga is able to stay off the radar, and I think that has probably more to do with her handlers than it does her. Yeah, you know what? I was actually thinking about that. Like, you never see her. I mean, she does not hide the fact that she does drink, that she, you know, will have, like, fun or whatever, or this and that. She experiments with things. Like, she doesn't hide that. She's always honest about that. But you never see her falling out of a club or, you know, like, the media doesn't rag on her the way that they do with other people, like Lindsay Lohan or anything. She's always praised. Though, I will say, though, I do remember her giving the finger drunkenly from uh, Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld's box. Yes, yes, right. That was part he of was the pissed. Yankee thing. Yeah, that was that was a big deal. They said, you know, because she was in his suite or whatever it was, and, like, you know, that was she was being disrespectful. I don't even remember what game that was like who was playing that they thought that she was doing it to the team or something like that no she just got drunk and and it makes the paper though if you do something like that it makes the paper right but you can't really think of anything else that like she gets i mean i can't think of anything else that like you know she gets negative press for everything just like stealing that girl who killed herself like image and voice and sound i remember that being pretty big wait what what yeah, what was that? What was what? that? So, uh, Corby, do you have exclusive breaking yeah, news right details? now? This is breaking news. Do 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 eight months ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was re- okay. So I'm a I'm a devoted New York Post reader. So yes, as am I. I love um, but I love the New York Post. And there was a, a friend of hers. They both were coming up. They were singers. You know, she doesn't come from like a rough and tumble background. I mean, oh no, yeah, she's side, Private school, everything. Yeah. But uh, apparently, like, you know, she was pretty tame. She had a great voice all the time. But, like, this girl had, like, the image. And she ended up killing herself. And her mother, like, in the paper was, like, Lady Gaga stole all of her image and blah, blah, blah. But, like, wow. again, when you have big money and big business, I think you can make that stuff go away. Oh, yeah. You can make it disappear. And people forget about news. It's, like, Charlie Sheen hasn't been in the post for, like, three weeks. And everyone's, like, oh, that's that guy from Two and a Half Men. Yeah. yeah. Like, they forget. <laughs> well, they forget, actually, uh, that D- Elaney, didn't he shoot uh, Kelly Preston when he yeah, was dating he was her? Yeah, he was engaged to – Yeah, he was that's engaged right. to John Travolta's wife, Kelly Preston, years ago, maybe, like, in 99, I think it was, that he shot her in the arm. Well, I mean, I think if you're a celebrity, it's kind of licensed to shoot, stab, or strangle. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it, yeah. it's just, it's, I mean, that's you know. a relationship thing. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, if he wants to do it, I mean, he's Charlie Sheen. He's I just mean, gonna do it. He's, he's allowed. He's got a Donna's DNA. I mean, he can do that. And yeah. then she moved on to John Travolta. And we all know yeah, there's which, a lot of stuff surrounding him. Well, yeah, we all know the alleged. Yeah. Well, there's weird. a lot of things there. Let's not bring up Richard Gere. You know. Let's, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, speaking of uh, sad things, I guess we just have to announce. Kim Kardashian got married. Yeah. Yay. And this is why Don't we're bringing it She'll be single in two months. I, I know. Okay. That's what I said. I think this whole thing is a publicity stunt. I of think I think her is. getting married. I mean, you, you look like you're pissed. You don't like Kim Kardashian? Um, Are you would like, you hit I'm, it? I'm a big fan of the vintage Kim Kardashian. Like the, Aww, the Kim right. Kardashian yeah. Reggie Bush days. Right. Yeah. Before she got plastic surgery and right, right. weird looking. And I mean, she looks the people, you know, like how Michael Jackson is like the squinty eyes and like the nose. She looks she doesn't look. There's nothing unique about her anymore. This is the thing, though, that Kim Kardashian got married. Fine. Whatever. We didn't even want to bring it up, honestly, because we're so over yeah, it. We didn't want to talk about but it. This is what gets us pissed. Not only is she completely whoring herself out yeah for this. she's making almost 18 million dollars for her wedding 17.1 17.9 i got over 17.9? here 17.9 all right I well, our, our so i rounded it up i gave her having a war i gave her, I gave her benefit bucks. of the doubts uh so basically this is the breakdown and this is what we wanted to share with everybody and uh maybe get some some idea so she got 15 million for her four hour two-part wedding special with a 2.5 million for exclusive photos with people magazine 300K for her engagement announcement with people. 100K for the rights to the bridal shower at Britain's OK magazine. I guess she wanted to make sure she was still worldwide. Right. Uh, she was hitting all levels. Right. 50K for her bachelorette party at Tao. 20,000 20, for her wedding cake. 20,000 for her wedding dress. 
they for, paid her for all of this stuff. Correct. Yeah. Highly discounted rings. Right. And they, they gave her did, the ring for free. They did two million, and it was a twenty point five carat engagement ring. I would think that it'd be more, right? You're you're newly married. Wouldn't <laughs> it? Be, I feel like it'd be more. Well, you know, I mean, I I didn't give uh, my fiance a ring. You know, we just discussed it over cocktails. Did you uh, like cocktails. it? Bl- really? Blood, blood, <laughs> blood agreement? <laughs> no, we just we just basically said I was like I was hanging out with uh, Jeremy and we were up in Woodstock at his house with his uh, with his wife mm-hmm. and he was telling about his exceedingly elaborate proposal and I'm like he's like Aww. oh he's like after he's like after I arranged for her to get spa treatment at the Mandarin Orange I was hiding in the bathroom and there was a video on but her whole what, what is it Orange Mandarin Mandarin Oriental. Hotel or Oriental whatever it's all the same Orange. <laughs> So he's, she's got his, the whole family downstairs and I'm like listening to this and I'm just like, first of all, I'm like stressed. Like, do I need to get a ring? How many carrots? All this. Aww. Right. So then I just, we went out and I delivered a painting and I was by her office and I was like, oh, you want to get some cocktails or whatever? And she's like, yes, we went up for happy hour. We we're just talking. Everything was good. We're in a cute little place, Zebu on the Upper East Side. And then we just started talking about it. And I was like, you know, I'd rather just plan a really good party and just get married. And she's like, me too. And I'm like, cool. What do you want to do? She's like, backyard. I'm like, done. I'm like, we're engaged. <laughs> oh, you know I what? love like, that, though. You make me look like the corporate, like. He got a 20% discount through his corporate card. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> traditional <laughs> ring giver. And I'm a romantic. But I did give her my mom's engagement ring after Aww. the fact. That's, that my mom that's gave. romantic. That, that is nice. Beautiful. That is that beautiful. Is nice. So she did have something, which was cool. And then we got matching uh, Frank Gehry rings to Tiffany. Oh, I did. love you guys. You're so cute. Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> oh, good she for you. Awesome. Well, I'm very happy. So yeah, we like that story. Now we sound like such negative Nancy. I know that we're so like nasty <laughs> about like- Kim Kardashian's <laughs> wedding. No, but the problem is, is that she's getting paid all of this money for something so, that so it's I mean, not it's real. Right. Unlike your wedding. When That's did they what we're meet? Trying- That's what I want. Eight ask. months ago. Thank you. So I think yeah. now there are there is a case of love at first sight, but when you broker an eighteen million dollar wedding, it obviously <laughs> is forced. Yeah, that's the best. By the momager it. who's making ten percent. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, it's like when you think about it, it's like, do you? I mean, do we really care about these people? I mean, I I said from the minute that I heard that they were engaged, and you kind of gave me like a no, you're just being negative. Like, right. look, right. I said, give it. You know, let them be married. Let them get married. Give them like a year of marriage or a couple months of marriage, wait till for her face to be up on the cover of Life and Style, like heartbreak, Kim's heartbreak. He cheated on her or something happened, whatever. She gets paid like millions of dollars for that story. Agreed. It's all it's all fake. It's all you fake. Agree, it's you agree, B? It's for publicity. You're so on the money. And, you know, if you look at all these celebrity relationships, I mean, you have to understand that if your image, what you wear – how your hair is handled before you go out, you better believe that your wedding is included. You best believe. You, you best believe. Yo, you no, best no. be respected in the Hollywood Seriously? marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of images, uh, you know who Joe McHale is. He is the host of The Soup Hilarious. on E. Love him. Huge fan. He's really, very, he's really very handsome. He's the new mo- hair on there, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he revealed that he is not allowed to make fun of the Kardashians on his show, which also airs on the same network. He said, quote unquote, I know the Kardashians don't like me. Reality stars without exception have come up to me and said, thank you for making fun of me. We've made so much fun of the Bachelor star, Jake, blah, blah, blah. And he responded by coming, whatever. And he responded by coming onto the show with the Kardashians. We're not allowed to say they have a sex tape anymore because Because the the network flips out. Well, if you think E is all Kardashian, that's their cash cow. So why would they want to make their? Why would they want to call her a cow? Yeah, yeah, I did. We did. 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 (laughs) Wait, can I ask a a side question? Yeah, absolutely. Blindfolded slap match, (laughs) Mikhail versus Tosh. Who takes it? I like Joe Mikhail better than Tosh Bueno. But I mean in a slap fight. I mean a full-on slap fight. I think Joe McHale could kick anybody's ass. Really? Yeah. Mr. T? I don't like I don't Mr. like Tosh <laughs> Bueno. I don't like him. I don't think he's funny. I don't like I I never got, was into Tosh Bueno. I just got introduced to him, not and, personally. Oh, yeah. To the show. <laughs> yeah. I was blown away by how funny really? he is. I, I do think Joe McHale would kick his ass. I agree. I think if you just say the word boner and Tosh a couple times, you'll get a web redemption. <laughs> <laughs> boner and Tosh do go together. <laughs> Boner, throwing it out there that's funny <laughs> uh so i i see this and new in the notes I, I wasn't aware uh Lindsay lohan is suing a pit bull suing pit bull the, the rapper not, oh. not a pit bull <laughs> same difference same difference not a dog <laughs> suing the rapper so i have uh, so is michael vick by the way 
Oh. 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 Too soon? Too soon. No, never too soon. <laughs> never too soon. Um, yeah, you didn't hear about this? Hustlers move aside, so I'm tiptoeing to keep flow. I got locked up like Lindsay Lohan. She's suing him because those are the lyrics in his song, um, Give Me Everything. Listen, I think it's this called? broad better be excited that anybody's talking about her besides like her DUI cases and sniffing an eight ball in 10 minutes. Whoa! Allegedly. Meow. Seriously. I think we know who the vicious is on this conversation. <laughs> Definitely. Wow. <laughs> Um, do you think she has a case? Do you think that she could win? What I, she wants, if she wins, she if needs she, to make money because her lawsuits have been costing her so much money. Right. And her mom, her mom needs more like, I don't know, doilies for a mansion out in Long Island. I Look, the fact is it's fair use. She was in prison. So if right. he's stating a fact that he read exactly. in the newspaper. Okay. And the fact that all he has to do is call up a correctional facility and be like, did you ever admit Lindsay Lohan into prison? Exactly. Yes, we did. End of discussion. Like I said before, own it. You yep. went to jail. Thank it you. happened. You got arrested. You got a DWI, whatever. You stole a necklace. Own it. Okay. Two They're words. talking Martha about Martha Stewart, you. yo. Yeah. Right, yo. <laughs> She's, She's gangster. Class. She is gangster. She is. I'm going to well, recruit my stuff. She's white stuff collar gangster. She could kick Joel McHale's ass. Yes, she, she definitely, definitely can. could. She could kick 50 credit. Cent's ass. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to fight Martha Stewart. Wait, I wouldn't want to fight Martha Stewart. What's the deal with, with 50 Cent hanging out with Bette Medler last year and Goldie Hawn this year? What's our thoughts on that? What are they discussing? I don't know. I didn't um, know that he hung out with Bette Midler, but he I know that he hung out a, with Goldie Hawn. He lives in Connecticut in a large house. <laughs> he goes home and he watches Overboard every day and he's like, oh man, I love to get me some Goldie Hawn. He's like, wait, I'm 50 Cent. I could get her on the phone. <laughs> He was over Chelsea Handler. Yeah, I know. No, but I know but Chelsea Handler. Ugh. You don't you like, like Chelsea her? Handler? I'd like her if she commissioned a painting. Oh yeah, <laughs> Chelsea. We're, we're talking putting it out there. Do we're it. sending the vibes. I'll take my glasses off for you, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, if she features. she's suing because she wants the lyrics to be removed from the song and then redistributed, or for the song to be completely taken off the radio and out of syndication immediately. But they're saying, like, there's all this buzz going around saying, like, does she have a case, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But remember when she sued E-Trade for the baby? Remember when the baby made a comment yeah. Yeah. about saying she that, like, you know, her, the baby's name was Lindsay and she was, like, a milkaholic? Oh, And my they got God. that commercial taken off. She actually won that, that lawsuit. You know, so she might actually... Yeah, but that's defamatory here. because that is creating a character that is so obviously implied by her that that's defamation I mean, of character. I guess. But just I guess, but how is that... that but How at the same rough. time, they probably would. They pay her off fifty thousand dollars to stay quiet about it, and she's just like, "Oh snap!" Yeah. <laughs> so now she's gonna hit up oh, everybody yeah, the that she can. Economy needs to, you know, get yeah. money somewhere. <laughs> needs to, yeah. Re- yeah. Needs to help move the, the I'm global. Talking about Lindsay Lohan. I'm not talking about just us. I'm talking about as a society i mean how is she still in show business? Her how managers money? are amazing. She's like a yo-yo. She goes right to the brink and then they pull like her right back. Right to the brink every She's time. She's like a yayo. Oh, I'm gonna reform myself. <laughs> yeah, Chi Chi, get the yayo. Uh, no, it is true though. How how is she like still somebody? What was the how last she, movie she did labor pains and then it was you know forced <laughs> to go straight on ABC Family. If you want to know the truth, Do you remember that one where she like plays the, the two yeah. twins when she's like the young kid? Remember, I she was so love talented. That movie. Eleni, Eleni the watched parent it all the time. Rest in peace, oh. Natasha Richardson. She died. Oh. Yeah, the skiing accident. Yeah. That was very sad. Yeah. Like Sonny yeah. Bono hitting hit the trees. Scary <laughs> what? Hitting trees like Sonny Bono. <laughs> oh, no. Rough, Rough you guys. You got are. the Eminem lyric? Goodness. On that? Uh, Sonny Bono skis horses hitting some trees or something like that. I don't even know what's going on right now. Is there like an inside joke I'm missing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, I'm delinquent on my Eminem lyrics, but oh, I, I do know exactly what you're proud. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> We're just having a cross conversation, which is a no, no. And, uh, on radio. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, but so I guess this was something that was just really cool. I mean, it's really slow right now. in like the entertainment world, I feel like we want to hang ourselves. Yeah. But there's nothing this really is something going cool. on. I love exciting. Pixar. I'm a huge fan. And they're, div- uh, they announced at the D23 expo that was held in Anaheim, California, that they are going to be releasing two more movies. One film is t- called The Untitled Pixar Movie That Takes You Inside the Mind. That's actually the name of the movie? No, it's The Untitled. I think it's a working title. It's Yeah, exactly. It's a working title. Oh, Thank okay. you for the industry that's, terminology. That's, very, that's actually very pretentious. That's like the, the greatest <laughs> yeah. book ever written. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I don't even um, know why they would refer it like that. And uh, no, it's, you didn't. Yeah, he did. I actually was waiting for oh him to finish. Oh, my God. 
So we have a vampire live in studio. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know what's I knew you, inside that bottle? I knew you were a little bit. Va- I knew you were care. a little vampire. I need to feed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Do you feel Uh-oh. satisfied now, Jeremy? I do. <laughs> so good. So, yeah. So good. That's our favorite. <laughs> I am your maker. Yes. <laughs> I Jessica. command you. Don't even get me started on this. I'm going to talk about how his character is so whack the last two seasons. Oh, oh we seriously. so agree with you. Yeah. We so agree with you. He went from you. like this cool stoic dude into uh, the biggest loser yeah, ever. Yeah, like corny, right? And even like Eric's getting like. Eric. We're over Eric what this do you, season. Uh, uh, what do you ladies think about Eric? Okay. Because I have, look at him t- as Mikas from Zoolander. Do you remember <laughs> Zoolander? Yes. He's Mikas yes. from Male Models. Yes, totally. I think that, I mean, we, we have a True Blood recap show. We talk about... Um, what's going on with Eric this season. And we like his, we always liked his little like bad boy, nasty kind of the demeanor. lines, Right. Like his like, the you power. know, I own you. The and this drive, stuff. the sexual drive. Yeah. And he's hot. But now as he's like, it's corny now what's going on with him. Where it's like, you know, when they're him and Sookie are just in bed for like 48 hours in a row. And they're when they like, were tripping? What was yeah. the deal with them? Like he's tripping. like, let's, let's run away together. And they're in the bed and in it the was snow? Like, no, they were trying to be Sting. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready. Wait, so do you both watch True Blood? I, I watch uh, religiously. Okay. Religiously. So, what so do you think about what's going on with Eric? Uh, it's a little little it's, dull. Yeah. You know, I just, you know, I think that they got to get rid of Tara. Oh, my God. Tara, we love you. We, we love, love you. you. We don't no know what's line. going on of with her. Of course you love me. I'm drinking the True Blood <laughs> filled with Red Stray. No, do you... <laughs> <laughs> There's um, like highlighter fluid in here that used for glow light. Possibly, <laughs> possibly. How does that taste? It's like kind of like Citrusy. from like last year. It does, <laughs> does taste interesting. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit? Okay. It's like O negative, I think. It, it, is, o, it is. It, I don't yeah, know how they o bottle negative. real true blood, but maybe you want to not drink out of that. Just throw it out there. Right. I was <laughs> just in Mexico. I could survive anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, were you? I was. Beautiful. Did you go on a little vacation for the summer? I went on work. It was oh, work. nice. Oh, good. Thing. Beautiful. Um, all right. Should we jump into one of uh, our favorite segments? Yes. Every week, for our new listeners that are watching, Alini is obsessed with something. Uh, I go through this period in my life where I'm obsessed with about something for like a week or two. Except for Borbe. That's a long-lasting obsession. going to jump on there. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, like, you know, when I had Bieber fever, that lasted for about four days, and I never <laughs> wanted to hear anything about Justin Bieber ever again. It Can was I wild. ask you how you were cured and how we could cure America? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't even remember. I just was totally, after a while, she's like, why am I listening to this kid? Why is he, why but do I think But she fell he's in cute? love with it him with this just, one dance move on yeah. his video. But then, then he, I, but then I snapped back. You know, if reality. you play his albums backwards, it actually <laughs> says, it actually says, no. Love him or we'll kill your parents. <laughs> Love Justin Bieber or we'll kill your parents. Probably, probably. And if I you mean, ha- if you hate your parents, we'll take your car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump into this week's obsessive thing. With E. All right, Eleni, let us know this week what you are obsessed with. Okay, so last week we um, had a little impromptu visit at this new store um, located in Massapequa, and it's called Organic Corner. And I'm officially obsessed with Organic Corner. It is the cutest little spot I've ever been to. They just opened up on April 25th, I believe. Um, They serve smoothies, and they're all about just the minute you walk in there, it's all this positive vibe, and it's all, you know, healthy food and, like, beautiful fruits everywhere. And it's all just like you walk in there, and you just feel very centered and, you know, like, (laughs) zen. So I tried the, um, oh, my God, are you you guys laughing at me? I am. You're definitely playing the sweet role now. Often when when I walk into stores, I feel centered and zen myself. No, I'm telling you, walk into this store. It's in Massapequa. If you're ever in the area, go. You just feel... Like you're, you know, everybody there is really super friendly. They totally, I mean, like, what was the um, smoothie that I tried? The raspberry coconata? Yeah. That was delicious. I had like berry blissafina. Yeah. We both something. put a little coconut milk in it. We were, we were feeling very you, healthy that day. They're making fun of us. Yeah. What are you guys saying? No, I just said I was. Sky talk. Never mind. Uh, guy I, talk? I, I, I'm not going to go there <laughs> in case my mom's watching. Oh, yeah. well, you know, to be, uh, Eleni is a very health advocate lifestyle. Yeah. She's very Except into the fact that I smoke. Well, not that's anymore. why you're changing it. Not anymore. Smoked. Yeah. Anyway, aren't smoked. we due for a cigarette break? 
<laughs> no, don't say that. No. Um, but basically, um, I really, I don't know. I just really liked it in there. It was very, you know, like the decor was very nice. And I'm just kind of, I'm not obsessive with, you know, like being healthy and everything like that. But I do like, you know, the the organic food and everything. My mom has always like tried to get us to like eat organic. And I'm just like kind of about that lately. So um, you definitely should check it out. Follow them on Twitter at Organic Corner or check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Organic Corner. They actually sell the Earth Diet there. Normally you can only get the, um, the Earth Diet recipes online, but they actually sell um, some of her little pesto pasta right the lasagna and the, oh, the chocolate the chocolate the peanut butter chocolate cups yeah oh my god and everything's organic everything is healthy you go there and it's amazing so i'm obsessed officially Woot. obsessed i'll be there i think every week you sold me <laughs> you should go i'm cups, serious no the, you don't even know no they're I'm raw there. peanut butter cups the i'm coconata, not kidding you they're I'm amazing Tomorrow. There, go get your raspberry coconut. It's delicious. It sounds really good. And you it know, helps for anti-inflammatory. Because Eleni really? broke her yeah. thumb. So I got it because it said anti-inflammatory. So it helped my thumb. It helped her <laughs> thumb. Breaking your thumb is, is bad. Oh, God. It's a horrible. I don't, I'm don't. i so over it. I'm ready for it to be healed. It's still like sausage finger. I'm ready. I'm done. I can't. I can't be without my thumb. I never realized how important my thumb was until I broke Your it. Your career as a hand model is officially <laughs> Seriously. Old. Oh. No, you, you have know another hand, though. No, I had I had such cute hands. Well, not now because I need a manicure. I could but judge. <laughs> I was a recruiter for hand models. Were you? Yeah, I could really. I don't want to show you now now because I really need a manicure. Okay, off camera. <laughs> okay. All right, off camera. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, All right, cool. Right. cool. Uh, so superhero <laughs> alert. <laughs> Super. Do you guys like superheroes? No, you're not into that culture? Like comic Batman. books? Batman. Actually, you could check his underwear right now. I actually think he's wearing you Superman underoos. You no. Yeah, I pretty much always wear superhero underwear. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, well, I use it to uh, not only inspire myself, but... Learn when I Inspire kids. others around you? Like when I play hockey in my men's league, I like to strip down to my superhero underwear to it get empowers everybody inspired. You. It empowers you? Superman, Iron Man. Totally. Um, you name it. Well, I love it. Ryan Gosling... Actually, like Ryan Gosling? Uh, broke up a New York City street fight. So, so not was, only is he hot, but he is also a superhero. <laughs> seriously, did I? Um, seriously, guys- his his manager probably staged that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> because his spray his spray tan abs probably aren't <laughs> real, and he He's doesn't look like he could. You're talking about hold on. You're talking about this a is lady's my boyfriend. boyfriend. Really? You you know. Does your boyfriend I'm, know? I'm <laughs> dating. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Um, no, honestly. You're allowed to cheat list, you know? Yeah. With the celebrities. There's no cheat list. We're married, so there's, yeah, no, there's cheat no, list. no cheat list. Okay. Cheat list means you get Not, cut. Okay, okay, but there's no what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh like the 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 the, the, the pass the go collect two hundred dollars. Right. Like if there was a celebrity, if you ran into Halle Berry. Your wife would not be okay with you. Like, there's no list like that. For as long as there's herpes, there's really no <laughs> collect and pass go list. Gotcha. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, we respect that. We, we're not there trying might to. Be, uh, I mean, but there's not Kate like a Moss list. Kate Moss for him. Kate Moss might be. Yeah, I think Kate my wife Moss would yeah. really. Oh, man, I think, do you think she would like your wife do... more than you, though? If her parents are watching, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but I think that. <laughs> <laughs> and they probably are. I think that she might actually get involved in. in uh, oh, oh, I like your wife. Yeah. I like her style. Her. Yeah, <laughs> but only for Kate Moss. <laughs> only for Kate Moss. Jessica, who would it for Kate Moss? You see Moss? what you're now doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Well, oh no, you're not. We we love uh, yes. Brian Gosling. So, uh, on to some other news. Eminem releases the music video with Bruno Mars. Yep. I didn't really watch the video. Did you watch the video? Of course, I watched the video. What do you think? I think that he is. I don't like the song. I don't like Bruno Mars. What are you nuts? I don't. I'm not really vibing Eminem's sound. At least she's sound. honest. At least she's honest. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're thank entitled you. to your opinion. This thank is America. You. Yes. I think Listen. you're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you like Eminem? No. Oh. Okay. Wait, Jeremy, you really don't like Eminem? He's uh, not. Do you like hip hop? Is that your thing? Or? I do. Okay. Uh, I cater towards the old. His palms stuff. are sweaty. His knees weak. <laughs> There you go. Here's the description I needed. Totally. There's vomit on his sweater vest mm. already. Mom spaghetti. He's nervous, <laughs> but I, all right, we're gonna get into. Uh, yeah, going. we're gonna start doing. Uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna go. I'm there. actually very impressed, Delaney. That you. I know you the actually, lyrics. I'm not right like there. I wasn't born a, yesterday. I'm putting a bump right out there. Put for the you. bump out. Just hit that up. Pound it. Hit that. That's right. <laughs> um, I'm a big 
I'm a big, big Eminem fan. I was a fan of him when he was on Warp Tour in 2000. He got booed off stage. I'm not one of those front runners, boy. Uh, listen, I'm, I, uh, I honestly have been listening to Eminem for ages and since he broke, and I think he's cool. I like him. I like his style. I like the fact that he released two albums and called them crap. You know, he's like, oh, they're my he trash. Was I'm like, that's cool. Right. Good for you, man, because he dropped some stuff that was like impressive. And then, you know, look, a rap album inherently has a lot of fluff and crap. Like all those stage scenes. It's like, I remember like in Busta Rhymes, you're like, yo, drag him down the steps. Take his pants off. Take his <laughs> pants off. I'm like, if you're at a party and someone's dragging someone down the stairs, taking his pants off, I'd maybe like interject or leave or go to like TGI Fridays. I wouldn't like <laughs> cheer for it. I, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Well, no, I definitely want to hear your, your opinion because we are here to promote a lot of different artwork that you guys are doing together you collaborating on an amazing uh, mural but True that <laughs> uh you guys are all, you borbe also just you finished just recently finished your kings of hip-hop uh series that's correct okay so how about you tell us because we actually have some images that we're going to be putting up so what inspired like what inspired you were you like sitting at home one day it was raining out did you say like you know i'm a big fan of this rapper or this rapper and you just felt inspired Walk us through the process. Big, huge question. Uh, well, I broke my leg on uh, my wife's birthday two Aww. years ago, and I found myself on the couch all the time, and I was just like, I read the paper every day, but I was reading the paper, and I just looked at all the headlines, thought how weird it is. It's like, you know, priest, you know, priest rapes kid, Bloomberg band salt, like, ad for J.C. Penny, and I'm just <laughs> like, this is so strange that this is all, like, on the same page. And I was trying to figure out what is going on, and, like, I turn on the news, it blows my <clears> mind, and I'm like, so I started doing a series of paintings with headlines out of the New York Post um, just to kind of like capture like society and the fact that newspaper is going to be out of print at some point. It's all going to be That's digital. Yeah. So it was kind of like a time capsule. And then I wanted to I, I did a commission series for the College Board of Portraits of Educational Leaders. And then I decided I wanted to do a portrait series that was more personal. And I thought the linguistic aspect of hip hop and the fact that I was using headlines that are sensationalist in their own right. I thought this would be a great uh, meeting point for those two to converge. Uh, so I decided to do what I now call the Kings of Hip Hop. And um, all seven artists that I pick were finished about a month and a half ago. Um, and then Forbes released their list of yeah. cash kings. I and saw that. I had and seven of the top yep. eight. Wow. Sorry, yeah. Birdman. <laughs> he was on the you same. You weren't on the yeah. radar for the so, top seven. What, uh, so who was your first? Uh, the first one was Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Are you a big Jay fan? I think, I mean, I think Jay-Z is, is an amazing guy. I think all these guys are amazing, and there's stuff that I love about every one of the artists that I did, and there's stuff that I don't like so much. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact of, uh, beyond the music, he has 11 number one albums. I yes. Mean, that's hats off, literally, to that. <laughs> yes. Um, but the, the business model, these guys change the business of creativity, yes. and that's what the art business lacks. Artists are in a uh, museum system. They're in a system where they go to galleries. Galleries take 50%. They barely represent you, if at all. Um, and these guys said, screw the labels. I'm going to create my own label, and I'm going to do my own thing. So that was one of the big gravitating points to it. It was the business. And these guys are all phenomenal businessmen. They've created brands, exceptional brand extension, uh, without really compromising their image, which, let's be honest, I mean, if you could say, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one, <laughs> marry Beyonce, and have dinner at the White House, you're doing something right. You are. So what? You gotta so, put that on a t-shirt. I know. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was good. That was amazing. That was a it, it good, was like, a, round up. a lot of police dog. I, I've read all this. I, I, read a, I read a book by a guy named Dan Charnas, and it's, uh, it's about the business of hip-hop, and it literally starts from what Sugar Hill means all the way through to the Kanye phenomenon. And wow. it's amazing. I'm definitely going to pick that up. Yeah. I, she loves to read. This yeah. book is ridiculous. I And I, I'm sorry, Dan, that I, I, I always forget the title <laughs> of the book when I'm talking about it. You'll have to post it and tweet Top Shelf Network. Yeah, yeah I, will, I will post it out to you. But this book is amazing. But the business and the fact that I'm able to put actual lyrics in there and sensationalist headlines, but all of the, all the artists... They all have their mouths closed. If they ever wear glasses, they all have glasses on because I like to wear glasses. And the only guys who don't have them are Eminem and Dre, and you literally never find them with glasses. Sometimes Eminem with reading glasses. That's true. Yeah, Eminem, yeah, he only has... The granny glasses. Yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't going to disrespect and, him. And who would you say? Dre is also another one. Yeah, he, I've he never seen never him with glasses seen him ever. With sunglasses. Yeah. Diddy is always wearing sunglasses. Yeah. So he what? believes that the eyes are the gateway to the soul and he doesn't need everybody to see the real like him. That's right, why right. He So we have sunglasses. Kanye on the screen right now. Was yeah. he 
are you a, a Kanye fan? Did you just happen to kind of pick him up because he was hot at the moment? Who's like one of your top, like your favorite? I mean, I don't want to say that you have a favorite, but is there one that maybe you were more inspired to do? I mean, because you picked Jay's first. So is that something that like creatively spoke to you? Well, I mean, it's a great question. And I think I just picked them in order of like how they struck me as where they are in the zeitgeist of, of hip hop today. And the order was almost exactly in the order of the Forbes list. So maybe it's more yeah. business centric. But just to give you an idea of where it came from, it's like I, I am like just like, you know, a white kid who grew up on Long Island. And my first album that I ever bought on cassette tape to date myself, Naughty by Nature. And the second one was Use Your Illusion 2. So, I mean, I had an eclectic mix of music from the get-go, but something about hip-hop and the way that it's, there's, there's an aggressiveness and a nakedness to it, and, and at the same time, a desperate, ridiculous commercialism. And let's be honest, if you're an artist and you want to make it today individually, yeah. you have to be commercial. Yeah. And I'm all about it, and that's why hip-hop, I want to turn the art game into the hip-hop game. Yeah, and you are on the road to that. So I want to just ask you, as being an, an Eminem fan, what possessed you to put i guess i mean the rainbow colors was that because yeah, what was, was that, that to play about? on the fact that he's been targeted as being someone who was homophobic, homophobic yes. or not being supportive even though he did do a duet with elton john right was that but to, that still is the number one thing you think of when you think of eminem and his controversy is that whole you know all of his lyrics right and his hateful yeah. lyrics what was that was that to support was that to invoke some fire inside the well it's i wanted i wanted to basically portray them as i felt about them so jay-z is smaller on the canvas he's kind of a little more mysterious and he seems like he's kind of lurking Ooh, okay. and diddy is very much flash and he's up in the front and he's on an angle and he's got his head cocked yeah you know eminem is wearing a business suit and he you could tell that it's like he's th that detroit game was zapped out of him for a while yeah and yeah he makes he made his fortune on calling people faggots and right. that's what he did and i'm not saying i'm not judging him but i'm saying it's like look if you made your fortune on this i want to put a rainbow flag there elton john with his kid in the corner right that's just what i'm saying <laughs> every one of these dudes if you read the portraits there is something in there that is insidious in general context i can't be on the train and say the lyrics to the songs that i love I like literally will radio censor myself. Right. And that's yeah. only because I don't want to get jumped. Yo. It's true. Like, it's true. Straight up. Like I'm it's just true. like, and I understand that and I respect that. And like, you know, it's just one of those things. But I mean, if you look at like, uh, you know, uh, I love Lil Wayne. I think he's super talented, but it's like, if you were like the kind of guy who like, oh, hey, I'm here to meet your daughter. And they're like, hold on, I got to turn down your lyrics that are playing on the scene. <laughs> oh, so you're going to put what in her mouth when she's yawning? <laughs> And then you're gone? That doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> but that's cool. That's what they do. That's that's amazing. And I want to yeah. tell you that uh, from our standpoint, we definitely are a big fan. And we're very honored today to have met Jeremy as well. Yes. So how did, how did you two link up? Have you been friends for a long time? Have you met in the art community? How did you get started, Jeremy? Tell him, Jeremy. Tell him Whoa. how we met. <laughs> You want to tell the love story? Or should I? <laughs> you do it. We met on Twitter. Wow. Really? Digital friends. <laughs> really digital friends. Really? And I went to one of Bourbet's shows, and um, we had a physical interaction, and since then, it's been just some sort of cosmic connection. That's we were beautiful. friends from the step and repeat on. That's beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful way of putting it. It's, it's actually so true. Step and repeat on. I like yeah. that. I like that. Coined. Uh, so Seriously, Jeremy, how long have you been? How long have you been painting? How did you get started? What what's uh, what's your desire? What what what? How did it all come into place? It's gonna sound a little cheesy, but I'm gonna go with it. Go uh, for it. I didn't really have a choice. Art was something that was more of a calling. Okay. Have to do it. I respect that. You That's know, if amazing. I was giving any advice, I just recently I gave advice to a parent who's asked me about their son who wants to be an artist. And I said, no matter what, you're not going to stop him from being an artist. At least cultivate it, because no matter what, he's going to do it, you know, either way. Because he was right. thinking about going to art school or going to a regular undergrad. Right. No, he won't do it either way. And if he goes to school, he'll be shamed into working in a coffee shop until he's 32. Right. <laughs> it's true. And then he'll become a paralegal. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so tell us about how this beautiful relationship has now you are painting a mural together. So why don't you fill us in on, on this new project? Well, we did a show together. Okay. We collaborated on an art show together, which was we a sure pretty did. big success. Beautiful. And ever since then, we've just been supportive of one another. I mean, I'm a big fan of his work. I think he's a fan of my work. <laughs> well, we actually, we, we've, we've actually, he's the only artist that I've ever traded with. And I traded a very important piece and he traded a very important piece. And, uh, you know, we respect each other as artists, but also our, our work ethic, our personalities, we're just lucky that they, they mesh. Yeah. And essentially this, this mural came out because my hockey team hangs out at this bar every night, every Friday after our games, and we get wasted and we hang out and it's awesome. And the owner of the bar, this guy, Jimmy, uh, after about a year, we had started talking and he's like, oh, I have this bar over on 57th and 10th. I would love to have a mural for it. I'm like, well, that's cool. I'll totally do that. And so we took that into the more formal business stages, wrote a statement of work, et cetera, and so forth. Um, but before I decided to move forward, I was like, I would really love to do this with someone because it's 26 feet by 10 feet. Wow. And I was like, I want to work with Jeremy because, you know, I... I like his work process. I love his work. He's very easy to get along with. And professionally, I know that we'll both work well together. So uh, I just said, like, yeah, I'm going to do it with Jeremy. And he's like, cool. We got the thing. We went through, like, four iterations. Then boom. And now we're just painting it. And it's coming out awesome. That's awesome. So where is the actual bar located for people to check check it out well, in the uh, city? West 57th and 10th Avenue. It's, at, it's called Jake's Saloon. Awesome. You can't miss it. It's on the northwest side of the street, and when you drive up the street, you'll see the mural, and you should have a really warm, tingly sensation in your happy parts when you see <laughs> we it. We are going to drive by, we and are. we over want to feel that feeling over no, and over again, yeah. all all day, all night. Yeah, that's what it's we're gonna definitely do. the best piece of art in Manhattan. I, you know, and, and I'm it's very not done yet. Ooh. I'm gonna go out there and say it. Okay, and Take we that support Diego you. <laughs> so, uh, can we talk about the? Um, the situation that happened, I saw via Jersey Shore. Social. <laughs> <laughs> the situation. No, uh, we don't even. No, do not we don't even want those people any more credit than my ads they are need. so much better than. I refuse. I, I refuse. So we want, we have to see. We have to see. Yeah, we have to see to make that. You know. That, that statement that your abs like, are Can I just do a couple of sit-ups in the corner? Go for I it. will let you yeah. go. <laughs> she just wants to talk about how we got robbed, son. Yeah. Oh, that's so, right. So what robbery. happened? Oh, big thing. So please fill us in. I mean, I don't want to be giving anybody any uh, extra props for doing this horrible, horrible thing. We're going to find you. <laughs> and we coming. We're going to come with the army. Coming through the windows. <laughs> they coming on 10th Avenue. They're stealing your camera, stealing your keys. <laughs> but we going to find you. Antoine Dodson. Yes. That, homeboy. Hide so your fine. kids. So this happened. So is this something that you, that you tend, because I know that some of your, uh, the way you film it is you, you like to s speed it up. Right. And that's something that you do for, do you do that as well, Jeremy, when you do any of your artwork? Do you tend to do that? Or is that more of Borbe's niche to be doing things like that? I'm more of a paint by candlelight kind of guy. Okay. <laughs> Very romantic, I forgot. Yes, it's sexy time yeah. in Jeremy's okay. studio. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Okay. You walk Melted in, you're going to get seduced. <laughs> yeah. Melting wax, really? Did I just Actually, hear that? Actually, I paint with melted wax. Do you really? I do. In wow. caustic, Jasper Johns. What's up? Like Jeremy Penn. You definitely that. have to let us know next time. Uh, you have a show. Yeah. Please. 100%. Oh, uh, well, I drop actually could, I could drop that right now. Yeah. Drop it. Yes. Uh, world, Plug. World premiere. Uh, but yeah, no, the Kings of Hip Hop is going to be on September 15th, uh, opening reception. It's going to be in the Meatpacking District. Oh my God, we're there. Uh, it's going to be uh, hosted by Publicis Modem or Publicis, if you're going to go by the French pronunciation. <laughs> uh, and it's over on 10th Avenue. It's going to be sick. Um, 7 to 10, Thursday. Uh, you have to RSVP. I'm not giving out the address. Which Thursday this week coming up? So Thursday, this 15th of September. 15th yeah. of September. Which is exactly a week after my birthday. Well, happy Bro, early birthday. Happy early birthday. Yeah. So are you going to put the sweet and vicious girls on the list? Are Obviously. we going to be able to come? Obviously. And we want to do a special cover? Yeah. Obviously. And we're I would get... Actually, you guys could just like, you could stream it live from there. That would be awesome. That would live be at the, live at the event. so yeah, awesome. That would be cool. All right, let's do this. We're going to have to. It's an ad agency, so they're going to have mad materials. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> you just, everybody, you just saw this live on the Exclusive. air. Exclusive. That's right. Exclusive cutting like i am always <laughs> lucid when i make arrangements with people okay <laughs> kings at borbay.com that's how you are sweet yeah them. no in all honesty no I seriously would, tell them where I they can freaking love that um and like the key for me with like these events like i have 
a new beer brand is going to be like the liquor sponsor. I awesome. like that it's through an ad agency because to me, that's, I mean, I came from advertising and I think it's cool to have the homage and it's also the same. I, ha I had to have the Kings of hip hop at a place where I was running the show and not getting the 50% of a gallery taken out of it because none of the Kings of hip hop would respect me mm -hmm. right. out of that. Maybe, they probably, maybe they wouldn't respect me anyway, but that's okay. Besides the point, no, I'm just saying that it had talented. to be my own thing. Right, no, and I and we respect that. So that's exciting, and we're definitely going to put that on our calendar. We'll see there. If you're in New York City on September 15th, you can RSVP, check out Bore Bay, definitely 100%. That's awesome. No yeah. So I'm really excited for let's that. Let's just get back real quick. So they took your camera. Yeah, we're doing the time-lapse video, and, like, the tripod broke. So Jeremy's like, yo, dude, this is a critical time. I'm like, you're right. So we put it up like on a phone booth, like right across from us. And I like turn around at some point, like, dude, the camera's gone. <gasps> oh my We're God. We're very committed artists. <laughs> we stick to the painting. We don't let anything distract us. The only time I took a break is going down to police precinct. That's it. I oh, saw your post. Twitter post that you <laughs> said that you were filing the police oh, report. No. When I was waiting, I was playing Angry Birds because I wanted to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, insane. they're making a movie out of Angry Birds, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. like, look, it's going to take over the world. Those, those, don't even get me started on those <laughs> iPhones. We'll, we'll have to have you on again to, like, really get in depth about a, about a few things. Yeah, but Sony yeah, with PS3 and these advanced yeah. games, and people are making these little tiny games, and they're killing it. Yeah, <laughs> killing it. So that's, that, that's awesome. So, uh, again, tell the people where they can check out the mural being painted. When is it? It, it started uh, how long ago, and when is it going to be finished if they want to stop by? When is it going to be finished? That's a good question. Is that a good question? Uh, well, that's a good question. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd, love to, I'd love to be uh, – uh, with Jeremy, I have to be conservative. This guy's a perfectionist. If he doesn't tie his shoes right, he'll take his shoes off, and he'll throw them out, and he'll get new shoes. And if he doesn't lace them up right, he'll throw those out. Wait, can I ask you, what, yeah, what's your good. sign? What's your signs? Taurus. Taurus and you be? We at the Playboy Club? Are we? No, uh, I'm, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. So you're. So when's when is it going to be finished? Well, we we're we're basically we're at the uh, behest of Mother Nature. So oh, she decides right. to gotcha. rain down on us. So, but uh, you know, I think by the end of the day Wednesday, it's going to be looking hot, and then we're going to definitely have a like a party at Jake's to celebrate the opening of the mural. Sweet. So that'll probably be sometime. Keep next us week. posted on that. Yeah, no definitely. Doubt. Let us yeah. know. We'll it's be gonna be promoting that. Crazy, yo! I don't. We're doubt excited. It. We're very yeah. excited. Uh, we're Jeff, definitely genuine fans of Jeremy and Borbe, and we are very excited that. You took the time out to come and hang out with us and spread the word and yeah. spread your talents. And it's to the guy I was obsessed with two weeks ago. He's <laughs> here live in the flesh. I'm obsessed with Jeremy, what though. What about him? What do you mean, what about him? No, no I was making it. Dylan McKay oh. is just trying to make it look like I'm inferior <laughs> product here. So be, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to go there. I had to go there. <laughs> 902 and 0, if you ever decide to remake the original, <laughs> Dylan McKay in the flesh. A little bit, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, it's crazy. Look, I'm a big fan of the Colin years. <laughs> you know, I wasn't Cocaine really years. like too around for yeah, a lady's a little 902. I don't know. I don't know where the OC is. What the hell he's talking about? Little, like, little. Are you, are you that's, about to get vicious that's, right that's now? Time. I'm, I'm about to get serious. That was a dig. <laughs> That was, that was a dick. dick. That was. Sorry. We got to crown Creep of the Week before we're done. We're, we are going to do Creep of the Week. All right. So I don't know if you guys heard about this, but... A, uh, Lay it on me. Okay. Oh, uh, we're doing... We're going to do our jingle. Yeah, our jingle. It's the Creep of the Week. Um, so basically, a Long Island uh, winery is pushing a 9-11 memorial wine. Now, you think that... You hear, oh, okay. Are they donating the proceeds? Like, maybe that's good. Whatever. Or, okay. like, you know, at least... A, a nice chunk. Right. So basically, they're selling this Merlot that um, goes for retail price. 1911? 19... Yeah. How'd you know? I read about it in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> New York Post.com. Feel... How do you feel about this? Ni it's going for $19.11, and they're only donating uh, nine. What was it? 91 cents. 91 cents they're donating. A bottle. Classy. Yeah. Classy Pigs. Move. So Pigs. they're. Yeah. They're pushing this wine. Great exploitation. Yeah, it's it's kind of I mean, when I first said it, she's like, all right, so who are we making creep of the week this, you know, this week? And I said this, you know, Long Island uh, winery, they're pushing this 9-11 memorial wine. And she's like, well, what's wrong with that? And yeah, I'm like, I didn't see and then I told her and she's like, that's disgusting. No, yeah, I but hold on a second. How many people donate anything to anything? Like, I'm not saying that. Excuse me, right. Borbe B. <laughs> I donate to the ASPCA annually. Thank you very Same much. Here. High yes. five across the room, G. <laughs> Tell me, high five. ASPCA would not take a derelict cat that I had. 
Really? <laughs> they would not take him, and I literally live right derelict? next to it. Ninety seconds. Why was your cat a derelict? No, a woman at work <laughs> gave me the cat and was like, "Oh, you know, this cat needs to go home." I'm like, no problem. The cat tried to kill me and kill my friends, and I was like, "I gotta get rid of this cat." I brought it to the ASPCA. They were like, "I don't want this cat." I was like, "Yo, this, this cat's crazy." I'm not a cat fan. I hate cats. I don't like cats either. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> I donate to the ASPCA, but I don't like cats. So you're only like fifty percent. Oh, of- oh huh? Huh? calling you out. Uh-oh. B. You started Calling with the Sanchez, out. the Jets, and now we're ending with the ASPCA. You're getting sassy. Um, listen, meow, meow, nine lives, fine. I just don't, I just don't see what, what, yeah. what. And the ASPCA doesn't even see it. You were, you were converted. I'm, I'm a dog lover, but I was recently converted through a cat, okay. two cats that I. Okay. He was a dog today. lover till he met his beautiful wife. Okay. Aww. Well. I love like how when they talk about their wives, they get so they get serious. Yeah, yeah, my stomach drops a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm just saying that you know, your wife is beautiful, and so is yours. (laughs) You guys gonna swap wives? I'm not swapping wives with Jeremy. (laughs) Never. What are you trying to say about my wife? If Jeremy walks down one trail in the woods, I'm gonna find another trail. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I'm just saying that's for anyone. There's gonna be poison berries to eat on that trail. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to make some sort of? uh, I love their little. I'm saying it. You could definitely see that they definitely yeah. have the connection. Boys and yeah, berries. absolutely. Boys and berries. Twitter Snozberries? romance. Yeah, <laughs> snozberries. They taste like snozberries. Yeah. <laughs> I grow snozberries. Oh gosh! All right, well, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and let's give a moment for Borbe and Jeremy to give shout-outs for people to follow you on Twitter, Facebook, your personal websites. Take it. After you, Borbe.com. <laughs> and borbay.com <laughs> no jeremypenn.com uh you can follow us on um, at borbay b-o-r-b-a-y and he is at jeremy penn and he is not the porn star jeremy penn he's the artist <gasps> that's jeremy actually penn. a funny story we yeah. have to did discuss that for two I, did. Yeah. Yeah. I did i did i did i saw more than i need I, to see i no I'm seriously seriously okay you don't even know we got the email for borbay my boy song, my, song. My, my buddy jeremy penn is coming with cool great let me Google Jeremy Penn, and all of a sudden, it's just penises and nakedness. Yes. And I'm like, this is not, this cannot <laughs> be. Wait, hold on. No. Out. But I said, she, she said, wait, I Googled Jeremy yeah. Penn. Yeah, and she's like, and no. The, and I said, no. I thought she was like, you know, teasing me. And I said, well, maybe he's a porn star. I have fast company. <laughs> <laughs> My friend's a porn star. But you could Google his junk. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, I did get to JeremyPenn.com, and I looked at all of his artwork, and it was amazing. All, you guys are so talented. Let me just tell you, Thank I you love. I'm like a huge fan of both your works. One Great. Love. Um, yeah, so definitely. go back to shouting your your personal pages out. I'm sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> Second chance to plug. Go ahead. Go All for right, it. Anyway, Kings of Hip Hop, RSVP Kings at Borbay.com. It's gonna be pretty hot. Uh, and by pretty, I mean extremely very hot. Uh, <laughs> definitely check out the mural. It's on West 57th and 10th Avenue in Manhattan, West Side. Jake's Saloon, uh, you know, go in there and grab a beer. Cool peeps. It's a dope bar. And Luke Perry will be signing autographs. Luke Perry will be there. <laughs> and actually, Brenda will be coming in on her wheelchair <laughs> in the appearance section. And Andrew Zuckerman will be cooking in the back. Obvious. <laughs> well, Love thank it. you so much thank uh, you. for your thank time, you. gentlemen. Thank we you, are, we, You definitely are both extremely talented, and we are here at Top Shelf Network. We're honored and so excited that we were able to have you guys on tonight. 100% and we'll definitely support anything in the future that you guys do. You, we, you, we're part of the family. Yes. We love you guys, definitely. And we'll definitely be seeing you on September 15th at your show. So tell them one more time how they can RSVP. Uh, kings at Borbay.com and just check out Borbay.com. It's going to be splashed all over that place, but it's going to be hot. Kings of Hip Hop. Awesome. Thank you so much. And everybody, thank you for tuning in every Monday night, 10 p.m. Eastern on tsnlive.tv. You're watching Top Shelf Network. Elaine, you want to say anything? Follow us on Twitter. Okay. At sweet underscore vicious. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash sweet and vicious girls. Love you. Kisses. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, guys. (laughs)